Hello, Jeffrey Langloy, Langloy's Vital Nutrition Center here in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Our mission is to help you improve your health naturally. Uh, remember to always keep score. The best way to keep score, I believe, is a tissue mineral analysis. Your health is your wealth, and uh, take care of it. This is a great article, again, from the Epic Times newspaper. Um, and this is a really important one. We see it, it got cut off when I printed it. Um, let me read it to you. Um, and what it says here is gluten often causes brain symptoms, not gut symptoms. Despite well-established research, few people know the common neurological consequences of gluten. In fact, researchers often refer to gluten sensitivity as a neurological disease. Wow. Is one of the most common immune reactive foods. Another food is more of a trigger for neurological dysfunction and neurological autoimmunity than gluten. This is published in a World uh, Journal of Gastroenterology. Um, intermittent relationship in the cut in the brain. Gut inflammation and food sensitivities cause brain inflammation and trigger accelerating brain degeneration and causing a wide range of symptoms depending on the person. Depression, brain fog, memory loss, cognitive decline, irritability, poor focus and concentration, neuromotor issues, psychiatric disorders, early hearing loss, neuropathy, dementia, and so on. Gluten causes brain problems not gut problems. Okay, so there you go. Simple, sweet, two-minute video. Um, a lot of people are looking at the, uh, they think they eat a food and their gut feels fine. So a lot of times you, you can eat uh, a food. I know I was eating eggs. My gut seemed fine, but uh, I noticed that I would be sneezing or kind of mucusy the next maybe 24 to 48 hours. Um, two days later, I might be sneezing and kind of phlegmy. And that was for me from eating eggs. So um, I was very sensitive to eggs. I had no idea that was my highest sensitivity. Anyway, okay, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.